This video discusses some examples which can be solved with both set identities and Venn diagram. Illustrations are shown to clear out the solutions. Welcome to Mathematics of Engineering. The first word problem has a survey on 600 students about their drinking preferences. It states 150 students prefer tea and 225 like coffee better. There are also 100 students who take both tea and coffee. We are to determine how many drink neither tea or coffee. The total number of students are considered as a universal set which is in a rectangle. There are two circles for the problem, one for those drinking tea and another for those who like coffee. In the premise, it states that 150 like tea, while 225 prefer coffee. Also, that 100 would have to be placed in the intersection of the two circles. To complete all the elements of the diagram, 150 can be broken down to the overlap of 100 and the rest, which is 50 outside. Same thing for the 225 students who like coffee. This can be divided into 100 and 125. To answer the requirement, we need to know how many are drinkers, and that is done by taking the summation of the values inside the circles. 50 plus 100 plus 125, which results to 275 students. To learn the number of those who neither drink tea or coffee, subtract the number of drinkers from the total number of students surveyed. That is 600 minus 275, which yields 325 students. Without a Venn diagram, the problem can still be solved using set identities. First, list down the given values. That's U of 600. The number of tea drinkers is 150. Coffee drinkers is 225. And the number of students who drink both tea and coffee is 100. The same procedure is used to determine the required. Start with the union of tea and coffee which is the N of T plus N of coffee minus N of T intersection coffee. The union is then 150 plus 225 minus 100, which gives 275. Next is to determine the number of non-drinkers, and this is where we use U of 600 and subtract 275. Manipulate the equation and have the number of non-drinkers as 325 students. The second example reads, In a survey of 60 people, it was found that 25 read newspapers, 26 read magazines, and 26 read financial reports. 9 read both newspapers and reports, 11 read both newspapers and magazines, then 8 read both magazines and financial reports, 3 read all three papers. Determine the following. A. The number of people who read at least one paper, and B. The number of people who read exactly one paper. Let's show the solution through a diagram and start by drawing the universal set with u equal to 60. There are the circle for newspaper with 25 people, the circle for magazine with 26 people, and the circle for financial report having 26 readers. Let's illustrate first the people who read all three papers. 
we place 3 at the intersection of all circles. Then read through the other details. It states, 9 read both newspapers and financial reports. And from the 9, 3 also like reading magazines. So place 6 on the intersection. The same follows for the others. 11 read newspaper and magazine. So place 8 in the intersection. Lastly, there are 8 people who read both magazine or financial report. We take out the 3 who read all. So place 5 at the intersection. The last elements to solve in order to complete the diagram are those who read solely one paper. Those who only read newspaper are determined by taking out 8, 3, and 6 from 25, and that is 8. The exclusive magazine readers are also determined similarly as 26, minus 8, minus 3, and minus 5, and that is 10. Then for those who solely read financial reports, we take 26 and subtract 6, 3, and 5 to give 12. To answer the question in the problem, start with the number of people who read at least one paper. That is interpreted as the union of the three groups. Take note that those people who read more than one paper are also included. From the diagram, we get 8, another 8, 3, 6, 10, 5, and 12, all the numbers found inside the circles. The union of the sets is 52. The next question can clarify the first one. It asks for the number of people who read exactly one paper. This question requires the people who exclusively read only one type of paper. When written in set form, we have the union of the sets minus the intersections of the others. We can compute for each type or just consider the numbers written in red from the Venn diagram. Those reading newspapers minus magazine and financial reports are 8 people. Exclusive magazine readers are 10, and those who only read financial reports are 12. Add everything 8 plus 10 plus 12 as equal to 30 people. When using identities, we use the union of N, M, and R is equal to the number of elements in the individual sets minus the three intersections then add the intersection of all three sets. In the example, newspaper readers are 25, plus magazine readers are 26, and add financial report readers of 26. Then subtract the intersections of two sets. Those are 9, 11, and 8. And then add the intersection of the three sets, which is 3. The answer comes out as 52 just the same. Take the third example, which surveyed 105 adults studying the languages French, Spanish, and Japanese. Five are taking all three. Nine have studied both Japanese and French. Eleven have studied both Japanese and Spanish. Twenty-four have studied both Spanish and French. 52 have studied French, 63 for Spanish, and 25 studied Japanese. From the details, there are three circles for illustration. One is the set of French with 52 studies. Next is the set for Spanish with 63. Then the last group is those studying Japanese and there are 25. The first detail in the premise states that five are taking all three languages. That is written at the center of the diagram. It also states nine study both Japanese and French, but since we already have five at the center, we write four in the intersection. 
The eleven who study Japanese and Spanish account the five who study all the three languages. Thus, write six in the intersection. Do the same with the last intersection of 24 students, making 19 in the intersection. After finishing the intersections, complete the rest of the diagram. So those who solely study French are taken from 52, minus 19, 5, and 4, leaving 24. For Spanish, there are 63, minus 19, minus 5, and minus 6, resulting to 33. Students learning Japanese solely are counted as 25, less 4, 5, and 6, yielding 10. The first question requires the number of students who studied Spanish but not French. Take a look at the set of Spanish, then take out the intersection of Spanish and French. That is a total of 63 minus 24, and that is 39. The second question requires the number of students who studied Japanese but not French. So focus on the set of Japanese and take out its intersection with French. So that is 25 minus 9, giving 16. The third requirement is the number of students who studied both French and Spanish. The term end means intersection. So this is basically looking for the intersection of French and Spanish which is broken down into 19 and 5, but in the problem, it is also stated as 24. Requirement D is for the students who studied French or Spanish. The term or means union, so this requires the union of French and Spanish. From the set identities, we can look for the union as the number of French plus the number of Spanish less their intersection. That would be 52 plus 63 minus 24, and we get 91. The last requirement asks for the number of students who studied both French and Spanish, but not Japanese. This is like the union of French and Spanish, then take out the set of Japanese. So union can be solved like how it was done earlier. We have 91 less the two intersections of 9 and 11, then add the intersection of the three sets. Those are 91 minus 9 minus 11 plus 5 to get 76.